Hi babies and welcome to the Revolution channel. My name is Carmen Mie and in today's video I'm going to show with you how am I going to create this Halloween inspired makeup. We have a bunch of new Halloween products that are available from the 27th of September. We have latex, we have fake blood, we also have white face paint, a lot of gorgeous palettes and personally one of my favorites this black liquid lipstick like I was like I'm dead. I'm literally how Halloween dead goodbye. So today guys I'm going to show you how I create this uh, five minutes makeup is very simple very easy and I just want you guys to enjoy and come out with me and trick or treat so if you guys want to know how I create this look please keep on watching. Alright baby, so let's start this. So the first thing of course is to make our skin very ghost white. So I'm gonna use of course the ghost whitening is the brightening and whitening for your complexion. So I'm gonna take just a little bit on. So I'm gonna open this one. Also I have my nice kabuki brush. I'm gonna squirt a little bit onto the brush first. So I got a nice amount and then let's start this. Uh, oh okay so it's very very thick. As you guys can see, it's actually very, very white and it gives a good coverage. So we are gonna place this one everywhere. Let's do this! Next step, we're gonna take some ghost powder and I'm taking a big fluffy brush and what I'm gonna do, I'm literally gonna set everything. So I'm gonna press it into my skin and the good things about this product over here, it actually adds a little bit of white. Now, I do wanna remind you guys that, that I am not um, kind of like a Halloween kind of person. Like, I don't really know how to do uh, most of the Halloweens stuff. So please uh, take this one as like a super beginning and uh, whatever comes out, comes out. I am not an expert, so let's put this one everywhere and hope for the best. Next we need to add a little bit of contouring. I know we are going for like a kind of like super bell golf, but a little bit of contouring and never hurt nobody. So I'm gonna go in with the ghost sculpt and a little bit of the shade and it's super pigmented. So take just a little little bit and in case we can always like add it to it. But let's try to give us some like good cheekbones on the side. Oh, okay. So this you guys have seen is pigmented. So let me see if I can blend this one out. Ooh, this is gonna look rough. This is gonna look very intense. <laughs> We do need a little bit of nose contour, so I'm gonna take a smaller brush, a little bit of this product, and try to do like a very, very small nose. I'm still like 50-50 what we're doing so far, but I'm kind of digging it. I'm kind of like, we're getting there. We are getting there. We're looking pretty. Of course, because we need to be a little bit extra, we are using the Ghost Lights Highlighter. It's a big highlighter. I'm taking more of a like a very stiff brush because this time I'm actually gonna press into my skin because if we blend it, we pretty much like move everything underneath. So we are really, really going in with this highlighter and trying to give a very, very good glow. For eyes, we're gonna do something very simple, a very strong black smoky eye, never fails. So we are gonna take the shade Dangerous, there is a very nice black, dust off the excess and just like press it onto our eyes first and then we are gonna blend everything, looking pretty. And of course a little bit on the lower lash line is not really to be precise this time, it's more like kind of like giving the effect, it's smoked, it's grungy, it is a little bit messy. Just a little though. To blend my eyeshadow even more, I am taking my face brush, like the really big one, and I kind of like go really ham on it. Like it's very not going to be precise, but it's really gonna give me like a good shading. And this guy can see the black is still very close to the eyes, but then it kind of smoked up to gray. It, this is good. And then I'm just gonna go in slightly more on the cheek and kind of like work on like sculpturing and adding more on top. And then soon it's time for lipstick. 
It's time for lipstick and of course I'm gonna be using Kiss of Death. There is one of our latest lip kit. It is black, it's matte, it literally screams my name. I could not wait so I've used the pencil and the lipstick and let's apply and let's get ourselves some nice and juicy black lips. And here we have baby beast, the look is complete. I hope you really enjoyed it. Maybe learn a tip or two. Maybe you are ready now to trick or treat. And make sure guys, if you are recreating any of these Halloween looks, if you're using any of the new Makeup Revolution special effects, you tag us, we wanna see how spooky you're going to be. And uh, always remember, like if you like, hate if you hate, and until next time, you're welcome.